we are almost officially to the World Championships down in Ava. We've made two, tra two trips. Uh, last night, Becca and I brought down the three horses and the golf cart and all of the supplies for the horses. And today, on Sunday, we are headed down with the camper and all of the supplies for the people. And it has taken us quite a bit longer than we expected. It's going to be about 4 o'clock by the time we get there. And the show starts at 6. And we have two classes tonight. So we're going to be uh, going really fast. So we've decided to make this intro to this video just before we get there. Stay tuned and let's see how the show turns out this week. We'll do lots of updates and some several videos to come. And there's a sale. Matter of fact, the sale is going to be right here on this upcoming Saturday so we'll be checking in checking in with that and I'll do a sale video maybe a, a how-to and what to look for when buying a horse at an auction and the risks that come along with buying a horse at an auction and of course you know world championship classes and the show to come on film this first night because we were so busy rushing. Um, JR and Isaac went straight to the campground and got the camp camper set up. I went uh, to the office and got all signed up for the classes that night and the girls went um, straight to the horses and started giving them baths and getting ready for the show. The girls got the horse all ready to go and Isaac is going to be up first. This is the warm-up arena, just to the north of the main show arena. He will be showing Lucky in the prelim class for the 11 and under riders the, in the youth program. Now the class has begun, and Isaac is doing the flat foot walk here. Right now he's doing a very good job. He's sitting up straight. He's got good control on the reins. They're not flopping. His hands are still. The horse looks really good. You can see the head shake there with the walk. To people that don't know anything about foxtrotters, I explain it like speed walking or the people that exercise in the mall. You know how they have to swing their arms to be able to make the correct stride? That's what the head shake is for the Missouri foxtrotter in the walk. And now the foxtrot. The front end still walks, but the back end is now trotting. So how did you do out there? I felt good on the first direction, but second direction, she fell apart a little bit in the beginning. Yeah. And then I was able. Were you pretty happy, happy with second? Good. Show us your ribbon. Mm -hmm. Ribbon. There you go. Yep. Good job, babe. You're doing good. <laughs> This is Mary, my oldest daughter's prelim class for the Youth World Grand Championship. She's getting a real good ride out of Lucky, and Lucky always seems to work a little bit better throughout the night as she gets warmed up. And also, Mary's a little bit older and more experienced rider, so she's able to ask more out of the mare. Right now, they're doing the foxtrot. You can see Lucky's head is a little bit tilted to the left, and I had her to the chiropractor a couple days before this show, and midweek, the adjustment finally took hold, and she got tenfold better than even this night. Entry number 581, Charlie Will Rockhead. And second, entry number 559, Legends Honky Tonk Angel. And third, entry number 351, GC's Lucky by Jerry Rosa Jr. out of Newburgh. I thought she did great. She was right in there in contention. There was five excellent horses in that class, and we could have been first through fifth. And we got, ended up getting third. 
We'll check the scorecards later. There's five judges. I won't be a bit surprised if, you know, we have at least one or two firsts because she was right in there for contention for first. She did great. Mary did everything exactly right, like at the right times. That kept her awake, kept her driving on. That was a better showing for Lucky than I thought we'd even get this year, being on the troubles we've had with her. So I'm very happy. Okay, so it's Monday, September 9th. Um, it's our second day down at Ava. We, me and Rebecca both have shows tonight. Um, I'm showing one class on Lucky, and then Becca's showing one on Lucky, and then two on Rose. So we are gonna prepare getting them ready by giving them each a bath, and then we're gonna braid their hair and groom them some, take them on a walk, and then just let them rest till show tonight. So getting ready for the show every day, it's a lot of work and it really takes the whole day. Um, besides like bathing and grooming them, they have to be fed, their stalls cleaned, um, they go on a lot of walks, they have to be warmed up before the classes. Um, the list really goes on and on. They need a lot of rest um, and they're athletes and we have to really take care of them good for them to perform to their, their potential. Washing the horses, Becca's finishing up brushing out Rose's tail. No. Change it. Restart it. Okay. So we just finished <laughs> washing the horses. Um, Becca's brushing out Ozark's tail. We're gonna head back towards our stalls, which are down that way. Um, we're gonna squeegee them out a bit, take them for a walk so they can dry in the sun and loosen up a bit. Um, then once they are dry, we're gonna bring them back to the stalls and braid their mane and tail so that way for the show their hair is crimped, makes them look a little bit fancier. And then we're just gonna put them in the stalls and let them rest. Okay, so what are you doing now? So after we give them a bath and they're a little damp still, we put this stuff called show sheen on them and it makes them shiny so when they're in their, their arena, they're all sparkly. <laughs> Sparkle and shine. <laughs> and you put it on when they're wet? We, I put it on when, right after I give them a bath and then once they dry, I put a second coat on. Ozark's bridal path and her whiskers for the show. <laughs> Good girl, Ozark. <laughs> okay, Mary just got her lucky braids done and now she's gonna work on her tail. Okay, so we're tacking up the horses so that way we can go through DQP to the practice arena for the shows. Becca's classes are up first on Lucky, I think, and then she has two on Rose, and then no, I Ozark. Have... <laughs> 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 and then I have one class on Lucky tonight too. Okay, Becca's gonna put her brand new show show blanket on on Ozark. For the first time, we haven't tried out the new colors, and it's gold and sparkly. Do the ribbons. 
for the first time. The TQP is the process where horses get checked before they're allowed to compete. State certified inspectors check to make sure that the horses are not sore or have any open wounds or chemicals on their legs before they're allowed to enter the show ring. They basically are checking to make sure that the trainers are not cheating. We have to do this for every class and if we win a class we have to go back through the DQP. Right here you can see the inspector checking the coronary band on the horse. It's trying to make sure that chains haven't been used so that the horse isn't sore. Some trainers would use chains to make the horse sore enough that they throw the front end out further, trying to give them an advantage. Our horses, of course, pass. They're not sore at all, and they're ready to go. This is Rebecca's first time showing Lucky. She rides her a lot at home and helps me train her, but usually Mary and Isaac take turns showing her. Becca is showing her in the Youth Novice class. This is the same class that Mary won in 2020, and we think Becca has a good chance at winning it this year. Good job, babe. 396 Starry Nights, Mass Williams. This is a very full class and very competitive. There's close to 20 horses in there. As you can see, Lucky's headset is already getting better from the previous day. And by tomorrow, which would be Wednesday, she starts carrying it perfectly straight like she's supposed to. There's a whole bunch of professionally trained horses with the professional trainer standing outside the ring coaching the other kids. But our family does it all on our own. Second place is not too shabby in that big of a class. Now Becca's up on her two-year-old, Ozark Anthem. She's done most of the training on this horse herself, and we're very excited to see how she does. She enters in a foxtrot, and right now she looks almost unbeatable. Unfortunately for us, a once-in-a-lifetime horse shows up named Whiplash Wilma, and I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off the victory over her. So I was watching Becca in this class very close, and Ozark is doing the gears correct, meaning the walk and the trot are being performed technically correct. However, I know the mare really well, and I know she can put more effort into it. So there's the Palomino in front of us, Whiplash Wilma. I agree with our placing in this class that we got. But luckily for us, we have another class right after it with a short break in between so I could address the issue with Becca and with Ozark. We went in between classes and we put a hose on her belly to freshen her up and get her more awake because she's a very calm horse. And we got on her and got her working with a little bit more drive for the next class. Entry number 606, <laughs> done it right. 
In third, entry number 372, Ozark Anthem, shown in no <laughs> Now this is the start of the second class. As you can see, Ozark has her nose in a little bit more and there's more snap on her walk. This class, she does what I would consider a perfect ride for this horse. And in my opinion, she clearly wins the class. However, they weren't paying me for my opinion that night, so we'll have to see where Becca places. In this foxtrot, look how far her front end is coming out and how much rhythm she has from her ears all the way through the ripple in her tail. She really has a lot of reach and a good way of going for such a young horse. Right here on the final foxtrot, Becca's really asking everything that she can ask of this horse, and the little mare's giving her 110%. We were very proud of this ride she got. And we had a whole swarm of people come after the class and congratulate Becca on how great she did on her little horse. I wish we had gotten more footage of the other horses competing so that the audience viewing this on YouTube could see the competition that Becca was facing. This is the professional open class and she's showing against people with a lot more experience. Entry three, four, five, shimmy, shimmy, shake. In second, mm -hmm. entry number 337, the Pretty Little Royal Queen. In third, entry number 372, Ozark Annie, shown by... Woo! Third may sound great to most of you, but that was the best that horse could do. And if Becca didn't win that class, she knew she wasn't going to win this week, and she was very disappointed. Now it was Mary's turn again. This is called the equitation class, or the youth equitation class. Equitation is where they judge the rider's ability more than the horse's. Now it's weighted, so they're judging maybe 70% rider and 30% on the horse, so the horse still has to perform well. Mary's a very good rider, and she does everything very um, technically proficient, even though I didn't teach her how to do that. She just came by it naturally. So we were very lucky with how um, talented all of our kids are as riders, actually. Good job, Mary. It's a pretty full class and really good competition. Good and once again, there was professional Woo! trainers that were coaching their riders in the class. So we'll have to just see what Mary gets in her placing. Blue ribbon winner here in class well, 40. Under, you guys love equitation, this. Equitation, rider 17 and under. Entry 351. Woo! Well, Mary won, and as the winner, you get to take a victory lap. This was the first of many victory laps for the week. Okay, so today's Wednesday, and um, tomorrow, Becca and Ozark are going to be one of the flag horses in the show. Um, Ozark has, has she practiced much with flags? Just a little bit at home. Um, Becca's messed with her a little bit with the flags. Becca and Ozark are going to go up to one of the practice arenas and, um, and practice a bit for the show tomorrow. Good. A lot of people don't have their two-year-olds trained or finished enough to be able to carry a flag in a show like this. But Rebecca has done a great job with Ozark and she is almost bomb proof already. She doesn't spook at anything. She goes through any obstacle and I'm very proud of how gentle our horse is. Now this is not a judge class, it's just ceremonial for the start of the horse show each night. But if it was judged, in my opinion, Becca would have got first place on all judges' scorecards because her little horse did great, especially for being ridden one-handed and having to contend with the flag whipping around in the wind. Once again, we have carried the American flag, Brad Matlock and legendary Annie Oakley.
I was warming up and practicing and training on the horses last night and Lucky went back to working as good as she's ever worked before and probably in the last two years as good as she's been. So it's kind of made me uh, get motivated to enter a class today. So we're going to be in the five-year-old and older uh, specialty amateur open class. She's working pretty good today, but she kind of tricked me. Last night she was working awesome. So uh, we've worked, warmed her up, and now with this little break before we go in, I expect her to be working awesome again. We're kind of checking out some of our competition here, and uh, I see one horse right there, 559, I'm a little bit worried about already. But we'll see what we can get done. I've never really showed Lucky before because I always thought I was too big for her and was afraid people would think I looked like a bear riding a tricycle in the circus. But in her maturity, Lucky has really filled out, and as her trainer, I can get a little extra out of her that the kids aren't able to get. And in this class, we did pretty darn well. Her head is straight there, as you can see, and she's shaking hard, working hard. Uh, you see the frothing at the mouth? That's actually a sign that her mouth is happy with the bit. That means she's holding the bit good, her salivary glands are activated, and I really like to see that little bit of white foam coming out of a horse's mouth, because that tells me that the horse is happy and everything is working well. This was one of the few unanimous decision victories all week long. I was very proud to get first on all five judges' scorecards. In addition to cheering for our own kids, we had to go up and watch a lot of the classes so that we could cheer for the kids of our stallion, Sunrise's Golden Image. This bay coming around here being ridden by Mike Rutledge is out of image and it won a reserve in its qualifying class. And this horse here is out of image as well. I believe its name is Charming Marissa. It won several classes throughout the week or at least throughout the year. There were two Palominos down there ridden by the same guy. One named Blue Ivy, which I believe yeah. you're seeing here, and another named Turn My Swag On. Yeah, right there. This is Turn My Swag On. It was crowned the three-year-old world grand champion. The open three-year-old world grand champion, give it up one more time. Turn My Swag On and David Ogle. Here's Swag and taking its victory lap. And this is Gretchen Wilson. Gretchen Wilson was crowned the four-year-old world grand champion. She's one of my favorite horses down there. Matter of fact, Gretchen Wilson is a big part of the reason why I bought Image in the first place. Today is championship day. Uh, Saturday night, we have four classes to go in. Isaac is showing in the youth 11 and under. Mary is showing in the youth world grand championship, like the main one, the 17 to 15. The older division is what everybody refers to as who won the youth grand championship. And uh, we're hoping it's gonna be Mary tonight. The good news is I just worked out lucky and she's been up and down all week on how she's working and today is a good day. She was working calm, gentle, soft and supple on the bit. She trotted with enough trot, a lot of head action. I just gave them all a snack and Rebecca is cleaning up the tack and getting ready to go. And stay tuned. Keep your fingers crossed. Uh, Rebecca is showing her mare in both two-year-old divisions, the amateur open and the open, which is professional. 
So we're really hoping to win one of the two, if not both of those. Keep her going, Isaac. Keep her going. While I watched Isaac's ride, I got more and more excited because he was hitting every lick, meaning he was getting a very consistent ride. Consistency is one of the keys to getting placed well with the judges' scorecard. By the end of the ride, I knew he was in contention for the championship. But honestly, in my experience as a judge, I had him placed second in this class to the red horse that was directly behind us with the girl wearing blue. So let's see where Isaac places when it comes down to the judges' scorecards. So as it started to rain, Isaac got to take a reserve world grand champion victory lap. Then the rain really set in and it was time for Becca's class. And here she is showing in a deluge and her little horse just does great. Never misses a lick, never makes a bobble, doesn't break gait. It still looks very classy even though there's a heavy downpour. A lot of the young two-year-old horses have never been ridden in these type of conditions, but me and Becca don't have much sense, and we've rode our horses in every type of condition. So this was nothing new to Ozark. The world grand champion is entry number 342, Whiplash Freeman. Reserve world grand champion, entry number 372. Here's Becca's Reserve World Grand Champion victory lap. We were happy with the second place that Jared Freeman is an extremely talented rider. He's better than a lot of the professionals. And Whiplash Wilma is one heck of a horse. So we agreed with our second place in this class. Next was Becca again in the open division showing against the professional riders and their two-year-olds. She got another amazing ride and we were very proud of her. With all the slop and the mud holes that were out there from the heavy rain, Becca was on the only horse that I saw in this class that never broke gait. That's quite an accomplishment for a 15-year-old girl. Good job, Becca! Woo! Good job, babe. It's been four minutes four and 30 seconds. Flat foot walk. Flat foot walk. The overall picture of Ozark in this walk is almost perfection. I'm really excited to see what this horse accomplishes in the future. Yeah, babe! Woo, she was definitely the crowd favorite for this class. Box truck.
Flat foot water. Flat foot water. All right, exhibitors, bring them in, line them up. We're going to the north side. Oh, the two-year-old world grand champion goes to entry number 337, the pretty little royal queen, reserve world grand champion. 345, shimmy, shimmy, shake. In third, entry number 372, Ozark Anthem. Yeah. Now it was Mary's turn in the youth division, 17 and under. This is our last chance to win a World Grand Championship tonight. Good job, Mary. Good job. Yeah. In 2020, Mary won the Reserve World Grand Championship, so we're only really looking to improve by one place. kids got to take a reserve world grand champion victory lap tonight. Maybe it was better off that they all got the same place anyway. And that pretty much sums up our 2022 show season. We're really proud of our little family. Jar and Becca put so much hard work all year into training Ozark and Lucky. And Ozark and Lucky gave us their heart every time they would show. It's always bittersweet to see a season end, but there's a new season beginning and we're very excited for that to happen.